Hi, and welcome to the SFSC uh, Construction Trades webinar. I'm Tom, college recruiter, uh, and with me today, I quickly want to go through my intros. I have Fred, our coordinator of the Construction Trade Program. There he is. Hey, Fred. We've got Sari, our business development specialist. Hi, We've everybody. Got Joanne, our career specialist at Career Hello. Source Heartland. And then last but not least, we have Tasha Morales. She is our HSI STEM director. She'll also be our moderator today. You'll hear her, um, but you won't be able to see her. Uh, now, real quick, before we do get started and get into the questions, we have a PowerPoint kind of explaining a little bit about the program. Are you able to pull that up, Tasha? Yes, sir. I'll go, a little, I'll go over this PowerPoint presentation a little bit. The, uh, the four trade classes that we have are carpentry and roofing, masonry, plumbing and electrical. Each of the classes is eight weeks long, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, is in, included in this program is classroom instruction as well as hands-on uh, skills training. You'll learn employability skills such as how to handle a job interview. Uh, we go over resumes and cover letters. Uh, the proper way, proper etiquette for a job site uh, for workplace. Um, and also the OSHA 10 uh, basic construction safety course is included in the classroom and that's required on all construction sites. As you can see, the carpentry and roofing class is $4,240. The masonry class is $3,638. The plumbing is $4,018 and the electrical is $3,915. These are the most in-demand fields in the construction trades throughout the country. Um, it's backed up by the figures. And the one good thing about this is, well, one of the many good things about these programs are that as everybody's found out with this COVID-19 situation, that people in the service industries, the restaurants, bars, even retail, have taken a hit as far as their jobs go. In the construction industry, you'll always find a job. You'll always have work if you're willing to work and they haven't slowed down. They've continued to gain speed and the need for more people in the field. Next slide, please. Why choose a training at South Florida State College? We're the only college in this area that's offering these particular trade classes. And as a result, you're not gonna have to drive to Orlando or to either coast to get it. You're right here at home. Uh, we, uh, the program that, we're, that we are presenting is a pre-apprenticeship certificate training program. And what that means is that it's a certificate-based program and it's sponsored by the National Association of Home Builders. Um, the Residential Construction Standards is what we go by. And the division that supports this is Home Builders Institute. Um, your certificates will have Home Builders Institute's insignia on it as well as South Florida State Colleges. Um, and to go on a little further, the electrician's average salary is $51,880 with a 14% growth rate by 2024, which is really tremendous. A plumber's average salary is $50,620 with a 12% growth rate by 2024. Next slide, please. Uh, the carpentry and roofing average salary is $51,120 with a 12% growth rate by 2024. And the masonry average salary is $54,430 with an 11% growth rate by 2024. So you can see these jobs aren't going away. They're going to continue to increase and become more and more viable as time goes on. Next slide. For more information, you can contact Sari Cruz, or you can contact Heartland Career Centers. Do we have any questions? Fred, one of the first questions that is being asked is, what is the length of the classes? The classes are eight weeks long. Uh, our first class is going to kick off on August the 3rd, and that'll be uh, the, the, uh, con the carpentry and roofing class, as well as the plumbing class. And the following week, which would be August the 10th, will be the electrical and the masonry. And again, they're, uh, they're eight weeks long and 40, hour, 40 hours a week, eight to five every day. How much do the classes cost? 
Okay, the cost of the classes are the carpentry and roofing is $4,240. The masonry is $3,638. The plumbing class is $4,018. And the electrical class is $3,915. Thank you. Sari, a question comes in, does the construction trades program at South Florida State College qualify for FAFSA, Pell, or student loans? Unfortunately, it does not because these programs are standalone training programs, so they don't qualify for traditional financial aid methods. However, with scholarships, we do have on uh, the call today with us with Career Source Heartland, so Ms. Joanne, she'll be facilitating the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, which pays for training programs like the construction trades programs. We also have uh, great partnerships with uh, um, the Ag and Labor Program, the Farm Workers Program, the Panther Youth Partners, uh, which we hope to highlight at the end of this call. So um, to that, if, I, if you don't mind, if we can direct, you know, maybe the next question about uh, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act to Joanne. Certainly. Ms. Joanne, a question that came in was, what services are available through WIOA or the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act? Well, we offer, we're workforce programs, so we offer assistance with job searching. We assist them along the way. Um, even when they're in training, you know, we're available to assist them with, with job searching, um, resume, um, but they can apply for WEO assistance. We, we can provide assistance up to $5,000 for the training that uh, we're discussing today. So, um, but we offer many assistance, not only with scholarships, but also with preparing them to go to work. Thank you. You're welcome. Fred, Fred another question what, that came in was, what prerequisites do I need? As far as the trades go, you have to be at least 18 years old. And like I tell everybody, 18 to 80. Uh, the minimum age of 18 is because the contractor's insurance won't allow them to hire anybody under 18 years old. And as far as the top end goes, that's entirely what anybody wants to be. If you're looking for a career change, mid 30s 40s 50s that's not too late to make a good career change to uh to enhance your life and as far as any other prerequisites go we would like to see you have a ged or a high school diploma um, it's not required but it's preferred because that'll help you out down the road as far as your employment goes are there any apprentice apprenticeship courses yes at south florida state college we have an electrical apprenticeship program uh, and a couple of qualifications for that are it's a four year long program and in the process of going through you have to be employed by an electrical contractor that can verify your hours. Those, those are the requirements for the apprenticeship program. Uh, the other three trades that we have going on, there are apprenticeships available in different areas of the state to facilitate that. Uh, at South Florida we haven't uh, gotten to that far yet, but they, those opportunities are available. Ms. Sari, do you need a high school diploma or equivalent to be eligible for the funding opportunities? No, no, you do not. Again, as Fred stated, as far as prerequisites go for this training program, it's preferred but not required. Again, it's all about getting the end game to getting to employment. So if they do have a high school diploma or GED, that's going to work in their favor. But no, it's not required for the majority of the funding programs that we work with. Thank you. Yeah. Ms. Jo Ms. Joanne, how can a student be determined eligible for the WIOA program? They will need to contact me and I will do a pre-screening with them. I can do that over the phone or they can schedule an appointment to come in with me, um, to meet with me so that we can go over the eligibility process and, and what it takes for someone to um, be eligible for the program. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Fred, does training prepare the students for job placements? Yes, um, both the, the, um, the classroom and the hands-on, uh, our hands-on training stations are very similar to what students are going to encounter when they get on a job site. And another opportunity that we have during the training is we have a partnership 
with several contractors in the area and we're going to look at going to um, Habitat for Humanity sites also to where our students will actually work on a job site to uh, get to incorporate their skills and use them in an actual workplace environment. Uh, several of our contractors have indicated that they want to come in near the end of the training sessions and speak to the students and do informal interviews to uh, do some potential hiring of our graduates when they complete our course. That's wonderful. What is included in the tuition cost? And the tuition costs are your, um, your basic hand tools that would be required for whichever trade you choose to go into. Uh, also is included is your personal protective equipment, your PPE, a hard hat, safety glasses, foam hearing protection, and uh, work gloves. And um, that, that's something that you will take with you when you go. Your basic hand tools, you learn how to use them when you're in their training, and when you go, they go with you. One of the requirements that so many contractors ask for when they're advertising for help is that number one, you have reliable transportation, and number two, you must have your own hand tools. And in the completion of, of our courses, you're prepared and ready to go to work. Thank you. Ms. Sari, does a student have to be unemployed to be eligible for funding? Uh, no, ma'am. As a matter of fact, a lot of the funding programs, they work with individuals who are what they consider underemployed, so where they're not earning up to their full potential. So no, they can have you know income coming in, but uh, the family contribution, so they look at total household income a lot of times for eligibility. So yes, they can certainly already be employed and receiving an income. It's just that they have to be underneath a certain threshold uh, in most cases to qualify for funding. Thank you. Ms. Joanne, what does WIOA cover? With the construction trade program, we assist with the cost of the class. And um, if there's any books involved, um, we can cover um, a lot of those expenses for the students. Thank you. You're welcome. Last question is for Fred. Does the class include soft skills? Yes. Um, as I said before, uh, you will learn how to do um, cover letters, resumes. You'll learn how to handle an interview. We will have mock interviews so that you're not going to get blindsided by, by just basic questions. I mean, there's always going to be somebody who pulls a, a real ringer out, but you will learn that you don't have to choke on handling those questions. You're honest, you're upfront, and again, that's all part of your skills that we want to impart to you that you're ready to handle uh, getting a job in the workplace. I, I, I think a question came through about the boots. Um, now, because what we talked about, what was covered in tuition, we talked about the hand tools and the personal protective equipment or PPE, uh, but they asked about uh, foot gear. So foot gear is not included, correct, Fred? That's correct. What is required of our, of our students before they come to class, you need to have a pair of American National Standards Institute, that's ANSI, approved safety toed boots. They can either be composite toed or steel toed boots. That's for your safety and your protection, both while you're here in training. And most job sites require you to be so protected as well because toe and foot injuries are one of the leading injuries that occur in the construction field. Gotcha. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now with Miss Joanne, you know, she's a career specialist at Career Source Heartland. So not only does she help to facilitate funding programs like WIOA, but she also uh, puts the candidates in touch with our community partners. So they also help with resume building. They also help with mock interviews. So really at South Florida State College, this is truly a one-stop shop. So between our programs, you know, our career center, what they do with Panther Youth Partners, what we do with Career Source Heartland, I mean, you really don't need to look any further. So not only are you going to secure the funding for a training program, program, you're going to get the training for the program, but then we're also going to help you uh, with those employability skills and actually put you in touch with employers to get you out into the workforce as fast as possible. Only eight weeks, people, so time to get on it. Really quickly, I would like to speak a little bit about the Panther Youth Program that Ms. Sari had mentioned in order to receive funding for the classes. The Panther Youth Program is 
provided through South Florida State College. It assists young adults ages 16 to 24 to successfully enter into the competitive workforce. This is done through mentorship and enhancing their employability skills through workforce preparation activities, job shadowing, paid and unpaid work experiences, soft skills training, and more. PYP can help in enrolling in construction trades by finding if the participants are eligible for Panther Youth Program, or PYP. They have limited funding to pay for the construction trades program, so they will assist the students into the transition into employment. The process for getting in touch with Panther Youth Program, or PYP, is to please visit building R1 and R2 in the Avon Park campus for a pre-intake interview. You may also contact 863-784-7155 for further questions or to make an appointment with the Panther Youth Program Specialist. Right. Thank you for that, Tasha. And thank you, first of all, everyone tuning in. Thank you for those questions. Panel, thank you for those answers. That was tremendous. Before we break here today, I do quickly want to go over something on our website. Tasha, are you able to pull up the SFSC website? Yes. Awesome. So on our website, when you go to it, this will be your home page. If you scroll down um, just a little bit, See if we can find it. There we go. Right there in the middle, right there where it's orange, it says coronavirus information. If you'll go ahead and click that for me, Tasha. So currently right now uh, with COVID-19, everything um, is kind of up in the air and that's, that's nationwide. I mean, a lot of, a lot of things are being uh, changed around. Uh, personally for our programs, a lot of start dates are being moved classes are being changed. Um, so if you're ever wondering, if you're ever curious about what is the college doing, um, right here when you click on that, it gives you the SFSC updates on COVID-19. And then it also has a timestamp. Uh, so you'll see right there when the last time they posted an update about it. Now let's say you do have a really specific question. It could be in regards to COVID-19, or it could just be about something um, college-wide. If you'll click on that student services contacts. Okay, when you do this, it will pull up every contact here at the college. Um, so if you do have a specific question about whatever it is, maybe you need to get in touch with advising and counseling or the bookstore, um, you can go ahead, click on that, and it will give you the direct contact. Now, let's say you do have a, a question and you're not sure what department it falls under. Right there in the middle, college recruiter, that is me, Tom, the college recruiter, office number 7847447. Please feel free to reach out to me. I probably might not have your answer, but I do know who does. So if it's a really, really specific uh, question that you have, I can at least get you in touch with the person who you need to speak. Um, and, and again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Panelists, thank you so much for all that information. If you have any questions at all at the very end of this, in, or at this uh, webinar, there will be an entire contact list with everyone on this panel's contact. Feel free to reach out directly to us uh, and we can answer those questions. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope to hear from you soon.